32 o'clock last night, putting the engine back together, really just making sure it was perfectly aligned, just as <laughs> back and forth to the engine mounts to the coupling, engine mounts to the coupling, just making sure it was aligned like the best I could have possibly aligned it. So we're back moving on the water, going, going good so far. Next big stop or town we're passing through is Charleston. It's gonna be some long hauls. We'll wave as we go by. So we've been getting a lot of these user comments in Navionics about these shallow spots in Georgia and South Carolina. So when we see that, we just make sure we're careful. We go, we slow down a little bit. I pulled back the throttle here. And um, that's for two reasons. The first is just so if we do hit something, we're not going super fast. The, the prop's not spinning real fast. Anything that might happen is just less drastic. Hopefully just bump slightly and then drift over it. Unlike what happened last time we hit oh, this shoal hard and I don't know but the other reason is especially with displacement holes the faster you go the more the back of the boat is gonna sink down into the water so it's actually gonna make your draft a little deeper and your prop and running gear and everything closer to the bottom and you see that easily in like a small boat like a center console um, as you start to get on plane, you'll notice that the back of the stern of the boat really sinks down really low into the water. And then on a center console or a faster boat, once you get up on plane, then your draft is much less. You're riding up on top of the water. But for a displacement hull, you're not going to get up on plane. So the faster you go, the more the, the stern of the boat just keeps squatting deeper and deeper into the water. So that's another reason we slow down over shallow spots so that our stern, our running gear is not so deep into the water. We're as high up on the water as we can be, so there's as little risk of hitting bottom as we can have. Arriving in Charleston Harbor. A few more, two more miles. This is Charleston Harbor. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to stop and explore. We don't have any time. It's a really cool place to drive by though. sunset it's directly over Charleston Harbor so Charleston Harbor is one of the harbors that teach Edward teach or Blackbeard the pirate blockaded and he sat outside the entrance of Charleston Harbor and he would raid all the ships trying to go in and out to trade this was like his stomping grounds 
Charleston is also the only original English colony that is still here in the south. That's Fort Sumpner right there. 